As one of the major cities connecting the South to the Midwest, Louisville is a fascinating city to me. In this series, I quickly touch on a city's history, population, skyline, as well as a few things that make it unique. Now, let's meet Louisville. I always like to start by exploring how a city wound up being where it is today. Louisville is one of the oldest cities in the country west of the Appalachian Mountains. The first settlement was established during the American Revolution in 1778 by the Patriot officer George Rogers Clark, the older brother of William Clark from the Lewis and Clark expedition. A couple years later, the settlement became a town named Louisville in appreciation for King Louis XVI who supported the Americans during the Revolutionary War. The town was located near the falls of the Ohio, which made it a portage site where people had to unload their riverboats to pass the falls. This led to opportunities and growth which only accelerated with the arrival of steamboats. Since then, Louisville has grown to have a population of around 625,000 people, making it the 27th largest city in the country. If you've watched many of my other videos, you'll know that I think metro population is a better indicator of a city's true size, and Louisville has a metro population over 1.3 million, making it the 43rd largest metro in the country, falling between Oklahoma City and Memphis. Some of the most recognizable companies located in the Louisville metro include Yum Brands, which operates KFC, Taco Bell, Habit Burger, and Pizza Hut, Humana, and surprisingly Texas Roadhouse. There are 14 colleges and universities in the Louisville metro, most notably the alma mater of Lamar Jackson, the University of Louisville. Call me shallow, but when it comes to cities, I think appearances matter, which is why I always enjoy evaluating a city's skyline. Although Louisville's skyline doesn't have much to boast of in terms of height, I think it has a nice looking skyline for a city of its size due to some of the unique buildings that it has. If you took the average height of the tallest five buildings, Louisville would be ranked as the 42nd tallest skyline in the country, being slightly shorter than Hartford, Connecticut and a little taller than Des Moines, Iowa. The tallest building in Louisville is also the best looking building in the city and that's 400 West Market Street. It stands at 549 feet tall with a distinctive Romanesque dome at the top. Perhaps the thing that Louisville and even Kentucky is most famous for is the Kentucky Derby. The Kentucky Derby takes place at Churchill Downs, which is near the University of Louisville. It's been referred to as the most exciting two minutes in sports, and the event has been run every year since it started in 1875. Over 170,000 people will attend the Derby, which is about twice as many people who attend a typical NFL game. Another major event that Louisville hosts every year is the Thunder Over Louisville. It's the largest annual fireworks show in all of North America and usually has over 600,000 people in attendance. Moored adjacent to downtown is the Belle of Louisville. This famous steamboat claims the title of being the most widely traveled river steamboat in American history. And speaking of the river, Louisville is home to the last standing marine hospital, which was specifically used to benefit six seamen and boatmen. It was designed by Robert Mills, who also designed the Washington Monument. It's considered to be the best remaining antebellum-style hospital in the U.S. I should also mention that when it comes to architecture, Louisville is home to the largest collection of Victorian mansions in the whole country. They are located in the historic Old Louisville neighborhood. Anyone who's even moderately familiar with baseball will have heard of the Louisville Slugger baseball bat. And in downtown Louisville, there is the largest baseball bat in the world. Louisville is where the Hillerick and Bradsby Company is located which manufactures the famous baseball bats. Today they also operate a museum in Louisville which is where the 120 foot tall baseball bat is located. And lastly, the famous boxer Muhammad Ali or Cassius Clay was born and raised in Louisville. Today there is the Muhammad Ali Center which is a museum and cultural center showcasing Muhammad Ali and his core principles. Well that wraps up my video about Louisville. If you enjoyed the video please give it a like and check out some of my other videos about cities. Thanks for watching.